What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Baltimore guys. I'm your host Bazil. I just wanted to give this little quick update video of what's going on with the channel. Um, it's going to be a series of updates uh, with the channel, but not to worry. It's not going to be boring stuff. It's a new chapter in my life and I want to take you guys with me on my goals and dreams that I'm trying to pursue. And maybe it's something that you guys are trying to pursue as well. And, you know, I'm going into it not knowing what's going to happen, but maybe for you when you go into it you know it'll, it'll, it'll be better results than what i get but regardless of that uh, i just want to start off by saying thank you for my subscribers and people watching you know 2020 was a rough year um, but i'm grateful to be here and i'm thankful for that i want to take full advantage of that opportunity so let's make the most of it everyone and uh let's get started <music> So I started the podcast to mainly focus on people and topics that I felt that mainstream media wasn't focusing on. And if they were, it wasn't really done in a truthful way. Uh, so it was my pursuit of the truth. And mainly I started focusing on the black community because I live in Baltimore. It's what I experience every day. I'm a Baltimore City native. Uh, I wanted to find solutions to the issues that were going on in my community. But the more conversations I had with people, um, it really enlightened me and I wanted to broaden my horizon on different topics. So uh, I plan to continue to do that. Uh, all my guests who have been fantastic uh, are domestic, but you know, moving forward with the podcast, I do plan to take it internationally. I know with COVID it might be an issue, but I'm still gonna push forward. I'm still gonna take you with me. Uh, it's gonna be a surprise and uh, I hopefully you enjoy it as much as I will. I'll probably get into this more in depth later on, but in short, uh, my short career as a filmmaker has led me uh, to be on some feature stuff that you've seen. Uh, I've done some passion projects of my own and being able to quote unquote walk a mile in someone's shoes has been an eye-opening experience for me uh, that has made me not only a better filmmaker, but I think a better person, you know, all around and to be more open. And with that, I, as well as the podcast, I wanna take these documentary shorts uh, internationally uh, and to bring these stories of amazing people that I've been in contact with and, you know, COVID kind of ruined everything, but uh, I think this year kind of press forward, man, and, 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 and bring you these stories. And, and also with that, I think that it's important for me to connect with you guys more. Um, I always thought that being behind the camera and bringing content was enough, but I realized that if there's not a face to it, you know, and I apologize to my viewers ahead of time, but if there's not a face to it, that you don't really feel that connection. I think it's important for me uh, to be in front of the camera more, connect with you guys and let you know who I am. And hopefully it'll be motivation for whoever's watching if they're trying to pursue their goal in a filmmaker and just life in general, I'd like to go for it. But yeah, in closing guys, that's the video. Uh, thank you all for watching. Look forward to more content from me and uh, you guys stay safe out there. I'll talk to you soon.